Good afternoon and welcome to the Birdcage for the final game of the 2023 City Construction Company Hoops Classic here at Robert C. Bird High School. We're going to skip a national anthem because they played it in the first varsity game in the consolation game, but we will be back. We're going to throw it down to DJ Navarini, who is on the public address announcer. There you have it, the starting lineups for the championship game of the 2023 City Construction Classic Hoops Classic. City Construction Company Hoops Classic. I'm already tripping over myself. Good afternoon. My name is David Oliverio. I am joined by the living legend, Chris Min. Not, Chris, even, we, not even in my own house, buddy, but go ahead. <laughs> we watch both of these teams play as music is bumping here at the Birdcage. We watched both of these teams play yesterday. Um, Charles, or I'm sorry, Wheeling Central looked really disciplined on both ends of the court. Bird looked really good against East Hardy, both teams with the wins. So we'll, we'll uh, I don't want to ask you to break it down because we're, we're going to watch this game together, but I'm really excited about this game. I think it's two really good teams that are going to face off. The first thing that's going to have to happen, Bird has to have very good defensive transition because it's Wheeling Central. If you go look at their scores, they've already scored 100 once, 111, scored 90 twice and 80 twice. So that doesn't mean that you shoot 80% from the field. That means you get a bunch of easy baskets. So Bird has to get a, get a good shot every possession along with getting offensive rebounds like that as well as uh, find the ball once they make or miss as Wheeling Central gets in a transition game. That's well said making every possession count. Because if you watch the game before that, that was not the case either way for the Fairmont Senior East Hardy game. Tough game to watch. East Hardy did pull that one out. Ran away from the Polar Bears. I do like Bird's patience right here early. Um, good shot right there by Carly. Get another, that's twice that um, Holly has done a nice job of trying to get the offensive rebound. Now here's Willing, Willing Central coming in their transition. And Central does a great job in this transition. Little stop and pop, Jay. That was number 44, Maxwell. And that's where Central really hurts you is that transition game. They did not seem to miss too much yesterday. No, and, and Maxwell's averaging four and three, so that's not even, they got four girls averaging double figures, so that's going to be a problem. But again, uh, you, you get a, a turnover, 
by Catholic to give it right back to Burton. Now just be patient and get a good shot. Central in an extended 2-3. Sort of a matchup zone. Yeah, and also what's going to have to happen, looks like they're shading to Martina. So what Bird's going to have to find, just like we talked about yesterday, was find either a uh, somebody else to get a bunch of points or create a second, third, fourth, and fifth score to help on the offensive, on the offensive end of the floor. Good seal by Carla. Good pass by Martina. Nobody home. A couple of empty possessions to start off the contest. Yeah, you're two minutes in, and so far it's – it's been fine, it, and we only sent trapping a score on kind of a pseudo transition. You just got to make sure that you don't give them an, an opportunity on this possession for an offensive rebound if they happen to miss. Or they make a three. <laughs> Straight away three. That's Brooke Edge. Brooks averaging 15 points, three boards, and eight assists. So she does a little bit of everything. That was a good-looking shot. And this is something Bird has to deal with over time, too. Their teams are going to continue to pressure to either try to wear Martina out and, and Sutherland. But that was a good job of breaking it. Now they just got to get a good possession. Coming out of that, Central's in a man-to-man. -man. And Central's closest game of the year, just for kicks and giggles, was a 95-61 to win over Weir. Oh, my. <laughs> You don't see that very often of a girls team. A ball gets ready to go out of bounds on a defensive rebound, and you just turn and hit it right. on a nice pass. <laughs> and if there's any camera problems on the floor today during the game, I want everybody to go ahead and call Mr. Post, the athletic director, as he's working the camera down Is there. <laughs> Transition bucket by Kyla Sutherland. And we've talked about this before being our third game. She has really improved this year, especially with the left-hand finish, and that was a great attack of the rim. Good seal, though, by Wheeling Central. Oh. Shields trying to get the call, letting Patonic and the referee crew know that that was off. We got a good crew today. Colin Patonic, Rob Kimball, Bryson Flowers, excellent three-man crew today for this game. Coach Shields will work the referees all game. Yes, he will. Good for him. Well known for that. Jada Sutherland checks into the game here. We'll see if that gets a little bit more ball pressure. Five. five to yep. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, no. Five to two early here in the first period. Mid-range jumper, shooter roll, no good. That was shot by Caitlin Blake. We'll have a foul, number forty-four, Aaron Maxwell. And I don't know if the spectators can really see it by camera, but Wheeling Central is definitely a bigger, stronger, yes, more mature team. And the funny part about it, they only have one senior, while Bird has four. Nice job by Sutherland splitting the double team and keeping her head up. I do like how Wheeling Central uses their length to make it difficult for the passing lanes. They don't have to be right up on you, but with their length, it still makes it difficult. Well, they're stretching out that 2-3 and just making you – Try to make a pass just like that, and they step right in front. Could be a walk here. It is. And that's on the other end, number one, Haley Severns, gingerly getting up from that where she took a tumble on the floor. That was an excellent job by Central getting the steal, finding the person in the middle of the lane, just turning and going. That is definitely going to be a key as this goes on to have limited turnovers. And if you have a good possession, what it means is you, as the offensive team, have a person in the backside ready to uh, get back. Whoa. Just out for Jada Sutherland. Central back the other direction. That's Blake that couldn't find pay dirt. Eagles back at it. Hunsaker. Karats can't corral it. Central this, comes up. Yeah, with this it. is bad defensive uh, balance right here. This is, you got to get two guards back against Willing Central. Easy bucket the other way. There, but you can't have four people chasing offensive rebound, hoping to get him back. Seven to two. 
Just over two and a half minutes to play here in the first. A lot of basketball to play in this. Martina hasn't got going yet. I think she shot two threes. Good high-low. Oh. Active hands. And what you will notice, when Central's running the floor, their players have their hands up ready to, to receive it. So they've done a good job of practicing unselfishness as well as running to the rim. Martinez going to empty out opposite of the, of the entrance of the ball. Ah. <laughs> and that's good. They're, Holly's finding the space down there uh, along the block, and they're getting to it in a post, but we're going to have to get a score from that, either a high-low with Carly diving or looking opposite for a three. We have a – we're going to take a timeout on the floor. We'll be back. You're watching RCBSN Live. Welcome back to the birdcage. Wheeling Central leads Robert C. Bird 7-2 early in the first. Hey, was, go, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead yeah. go, That was number 14, Brooke Edge, that will exit the contest. Looks like she had having a little problem with the ankle. Of course, she dove uh, to the ground. These Knights are not afraid to get on the ground. No, and that's a good dribble drive by Martina. If you're not going to get the easy shot or they're not going to give you space, go ahead and dribble drive and make them make a decision. Martina gets the first. Definitely someone that you want to get started. Most definitely. And, you, and what you're going to find, too, this is going to be a hard game for Bird as the, as the game wears on because mentally you have to be able to get back and find their shooters, and that just puts a real strain on you. And it sometimes even hurts you on the offensive end because you're already thinking about defense. But this right here, this token pressure is good to at least slow down Wheeling Central. But you can see how they run to the rim, and they got a person trailing on coming right down the gut. I like that token pressure simply because it gets you just a little bit out of sorts. And Willing Central taking a 30. We'll take one with them. We'll be back. RCBS Headline. Welcome back to One Eagle Way. Quick timeout for Wheeling Central after a turnover. Eagles will look to close the gap. Seven to four here. Thank you, Hannah. Oh, Hannah brought me some uh, decaf coffee. Hannah Post, appreciative. That's the wife of Robert C. Bird, principal, well, assistant principal, Eric Post. And we'll see what type of uh, effect it has with Brooke Edge not in the game. My coffee? I don't think it'll have any effect. <laughs> <laughs> Good offensive rebound by Martina, and, and she may have to do some of that today. And actually, it, that all started with a dribble drive by Kyla to get into the lane. Shot looked good, and when people collapse, it means the other defender, the other uh, defenders are, are not in good possession to uh, defensive rebound because they have to react to the ball. Eagles pull within one. Ah, now it happens the other way. The ball's away from you. They got to make sure they drop back on, on the backside. Foul's going to be on Hunsaker. That's her first. Not a lot of fouls yet. Although I do love, I think I mentioned the last time we were on a broadcast, I love the new rules change in high school basketball. Except when it was the game before and it took a little ah, bit too long to finish. It took a little long. So this is a big last one minute of the first quarter. 
Uh, you're only down three, and it's not like it's 25 to 22. It's six to nine. So you've held, you've, you've right. made Willing Central kind of get out of rhythm, probably what they're used to. They are used to scoring buckets. No call there. Take a look. Oh, and like we <laughs> talked about a little bit ago, when Holly Hunsaker catches it uh, in that short corner area, there are people open because they are doubling down. So she can find and react. Uh, the shot by the uh, by Kayla Southern was a good shot. Yes. And that was off of her pass. So she's got to be willing to be strong, catch it in an uncomfortable position, face mm -hmm. face the defense, and, and make difficult plays. And that's, a, that's an open shot that hunts. It's okay. Correct. It's all right to miss that shot because you're wide open. You have to take it. Yes. At least you're getting the shot. That's right. Nice left hand. That was number 42, Blake. She's averaging 26 and 10. And, again, that's kind of an unforced turnover. So, we the, Bird had the ball with 111, didn't score down there. Central comes down and scores. Now they get the ball again with 26 seconds. Big defensive position, uh, possession right here. We'll see if Central. And they're doing a great job of sealing. Bird may got away, away with a foul right there, but I that's okay. So. Now we'll see if they're aware of the clock. Martinez going to have to force right here. Nah, not a good possession at all to end the quarter. That'll be the end of the first quarter. You're here at the Birdcage. Central Catholic leads 11 to 6. We'll be back, RCBSN. Welcome back to One Eagle Way. As we take a look here, I'm looking out at the Wheeling Central bench. I'm not seeing number 14. That's Brooke Edge. Went out with a apparent ankle injury. We do wish her luck. The only senior listed on the, on the squad this year, so we do wish her a speedy recovery if indeed she is injured. And as of right now, she has the only three in the ball game. So one shot, one three for her, but unfortunately she doesn't look like she's going to be around the rest of the game. Central leads at 11-6 to six here to start the second. Oh, good play. Central a little out of sorts. Like you said, there were multiple games they were scoring in the 90s. Only scored 11. So they're far away from their normal pace. Credit and, the Bird defense. Yeah, and Kendall Stern checks into the game. So what's going to have to happen when Bird's in that 2-3, uh, the outside wings, per se, of the, of the bottom of the 2-3 are not reacting quick enough because on a high-low right there, you got to match up quickly. Carrazzo fire, no good off the back iron. This right here is not good. You cannot go double-team the ball and then think that you're going to be able to get back. Central's too fast. Three ball on the way. Played right into the double team. And again, it's one of those things when you're, uh, if you can see the floor, they still have hashes on the, on the basketball court. As you get older, anybody young out there, you don't dribble across half court and pick it up near the sideline. No. That automatically brings two defenders into it. Um, if anything, throw the ball out of bounds or call a timeout. Just don't have a turnover that leads to a, a quick transition. Especially a team like Wheeling Central that thrives on that. 12 to 6. Bird doing a good job, but has had a few empty possessions in a row on the offense. I don't know when's the last time they scored a bucket. No, but at least they're getting the shots off. Yes. Um, Carly's had a couple threes that were there. They go down, then they're great shots. And everybody's happy. Good flash by Martina. 
Good interior passing. Can't get it down. Kendall Storm with a good offensive rebound. Long line of great basketball players with the last name Sturm. Yes, it is. Three ball on the way. Quick trigger three. No good. Now, the same thing we said about Bird. You can say thing, a little bit about Willing Center there, trying to double-team the ball after the uh, defensive rebound. If, if Bird can sprint uh, and get down, that's the third pull-up for, for her, and that's been wonderful. Those shots look really good for her. That is exactly what you want to see out of your starting guard. Yep. Good for Kayla right there. Stay straight up right here defensively. That's it. Make it frustrating. Turnover. Eagles doing it on the defense, now getting it done on the offense. Central trying to steal one there. <laughs> eh, good for them. I do like their pressure, and that could wear down uh, the guards of, of Bird if they're not careful. Because right here, she's all by herself. She needs to be able to turn the corner. Good job by taking the dribble, taking the, uh, the lane away. If anything, that – yeah, kind of a <laughs> – yeah, no one touched it there. Yeah, no. I, you know what? You have to call. <laughs> I have the replay. Yeah. I'm not going to show it. <laughs> no, and that's a big foul. That's two on Ratcliffe. I'll be it's interested. A big foul. Yeah, see how, how this works when you've already lost edge. Again, there's that pass trying to hit the Holly, and she is going to be open within five to seven feet around the around the arc of the basket. Thirteen ten. Well, we got six left. Just over six minutes remaining. Oh, just not fast enough. Baby hook no good. And I do like what Caitlin Blake does. She automatically flashes no matter what, and she does it with energy and, sp and speed, and they are looking for her no matter what. I, and I, you know, I told you a little bit ago, I am so impressed with just how fundamentally sound this Wheeling Central team is. Yeah, they're doing a good job of just receiving the ball at the highest point off of, off of a rebound and keeping it simple. And those passes right there, those are 15-foot passes with the ball automatically to the post. Those are reads. Now, right here, you got to watch. That's much better. Let, let them go back in their defense. It's okay. You want your offense to be better than their defense anyways. Good dribble drive, excellent kick. Bang! Martina Howe. That's seven for Martina, so good for her. Tie ball game, 13 to 13. Kratz with the steal. Sutherland. That's, if I'm not mistaken, that's three on, on Ratcliffe. Yes, there it is, her third. So Kayla's looking for her fifth and sixth buck points of the night, or the day, excuse me, still early. Ooh. Thought foul all the way. Now, I don't think Central has much of a problem going to the bench. They have four girls averaging double figures. So this, and this might be good practice for them anyways as the season goes on. She'll make one. I'd be interested to know if this is the first time that Central has uh, been down this late in the game. <laughs> it, it honestly <laughs> might be looking at their scores. Uh -huh. It honestly might be. But that's what you want in a holiday tournament. In a team you're not going to see in the postseason. And to Bird's credit, because of their effort and hustle, they've gotten every 50-50 call. Mm -hmm. um, but they're the aggressors right now, and they got a little bit of, of determination and confidence right here. And that big momentum. And I will tell you, the speed of, of Bird's guards have given Central a little bit of a problem. Well, you mentioned earlier, they're, they're bigger and strong. Wheeling is bigger and stronger. But I think... And a good Great outlet. run. Yes. Just when you say, just what I was getting ready to say, just I thought the Bird guards were quicker. The transition game for Wheeling Central rears its head. Um, they are quicker, but they got to run fast, too. There's a difference. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference between quickness and being fast. <laughs> Maddie, and I don't want to mispronounce the last name, so I won't, but good-looking foul shot. One of two so far. Central up one, 440 left. My guess is mild. 
Yeah. I'll... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Tough pass. Yeah, it is. And, and it, it, again, you, you just... Ah, what a oh. nice run. She simply just outran everybody from Bird. Bird saw her. They just decided they didn't want to run as fast as her. Wow. Great job by Caitlin Blake. Good, good pass ahead. Now, here's a run. You don't want to let Central get too far ahead. If they score one more, you may be thinking about a 30 just to slow the momentum. 17 to 14. Need to break the five-second count. And if you notice, Bird's last couple possessions, the passes have been a little bit slower. And that dribble drive has to continue oh. to be there. Great job by Sutherland today. Dribbling, going right at her chest, making her make a decision. Bird has done a really good job of defending the pass to the post because Blake holds off really well and they have excellent angles. Nice sneak around on the backside. Oh, good seal. Yes. Don't dribble with people behind you. Be able to count to five. Don't pick it up. Time out. Good call. <laughs> 30-second timeout. We'll take one with them. You're watching RCBSF. Welcome back to One Eagle Way, 17-16, Central Catholic lead here in the second quarter, just under three and a half to play. Both teams back and forth. Bird did take a quick lead, I believe it was 14 to 13, only to watch that lead dwindle and eventually go away. And that's actually a good shot on, on that type of possession. It's going to be there, and it just creates muscle memory um, on the offensive end. That ball goes to the post or, or near any of the hashes along the lane line. Central collapses so hard on the backside. That shot's there. So if they play their cards right, and Martina can be opposite of that, that next time, that's a wide open three time and time again. I always tell people, if you're open, shoot it. If you're up and shoot it because you don't get, you know, you don't know when you're going to get. And you have to be a scoring threat. All five players have to be a scoring threat now. It's not like it was even when I played basketball in high school where you had a, a center that was there and he, all he did was sit on the block. Good shot by Martina Howe. Excellent pass from Holly. Again, she's catching it about 10 feet away from the rim along the baseline. That high post or low post is there every single time. And now that Holly's getting that confidence and making that pass and everybody's knowing how to read it, it's going to be there. Good strength. Oh. Tough to defend. It is, and Caitlin Blake's not afraid to get down there and get dirty, so good, good for her. And I don't think you want to get in a uh, possession for possession scoring against Central, but Bird's holding her own right now, so hopefully the last two minutes go well. Break the five count, break the five count, break the five count. How? Oh, a deep three for How. A clutch three. That's eight points for her just in this quarter. So she's got 12. Um, that's going to continue to have to happen. And as soon as that ball goes to the wing for Bird, if they all suck in for a quick minute, at least takes the flash away. Here's a three. And without the, the Brooke Edge girl in the game, Bird may be able to sag a little bit more than what they would have initially thought. That's a big loss. It is. And I don't know what's going to happen in the second half, but Sutherland is playing an excellent job at the point guard, bringing the ball up the floor, kind of waiting for the pressure to dissipate. I've been watching her for a few years now, uh, hoping that she would develop and develop and keep going. Great shot by Hunsaker. And I've really been pleased in watching Sutherland develop as a player. Mm-hmm. And Hunsaker, too. 
Don't forget, I think last year she was mostly a junior varsity player. And if I'm wrong, I, then it was two years ago. My year, I'm getting older. My years uh, tend they to kind of They all mix it. up. COVID was just last year, right? Yeah, basically what it feels like. <laughs> There's that flash, and I like, I like that flash. I like their interior passing. Good offensive rebound, good block. Blocked. But if you know, Hunsaker's already gotten some confidence with the passing, so the shooting's going to come right along with it. That's right. Uh, years ago, North Carolina, when Dean Smith was there, they, they were a very good interior passing team. And it looks like Wheeling Central is just like that. I like the baseline bounds coming right back to the ball for the three. Putting her hand up again. That's a good-looking shot. Good box out, Martina. Now, into the first quarter, they didn't do so well. Let's see how Bird does here. Up four with 40 seconds to go. See, I think you get into your offense no matter how much time's on the clock. Especially if you get an easy one, take it. So we'll see what happens. See if she always takes a timeout and they got somebody coming behind. Good crossover. Under 20. Timeout. Careful. Oh. Here's Hal for three. Strong. Foul him. That's a good foul. I don't think Hunsaker meant to, but. Well, it's not. a good foul to give right now. I think that may, that's two on Hunsaker. And that just kind of stops the run out, which Central is so potent. Correct. Now you get, don't let them roll the ball up the floor, make them work a little bit, because they probably only have time for one shot. It's going to be hard to get an offensive rebound. And Central's not doing a very good job getting to the offense until they make this shot, and then we all laugh at ourselves. And a second quarter offense, strong for Robert C. Bird. They'll take a 23-19 lead heading into halftime. We'll be back here in a few minutes. You're watching RCBSN. Wheeling County Schools has a long-standing tradition of providing outstanding educational opportunities for its students. Comprised of 24 schools, our district serves the needs of pre-K through 12th grade students throughout Harrison County. Providing a safe, supportive learning environment for all, we offer a well-planned, comprehensive curriculum designed to meet the needs of every student at every grade level. The elementary curriculum emphasizes core subjects augmented by music, art, health, integrated technology offerings, and physical education. Middle school students are introduced to programs, career counseling, and coursework that will help them make the transition to high school. Our high schools offer a broad and challenging curriculum to meet diversified needs and prepare our students for future careers or post-secondary education. Advanced placement honors, as well as dual credit partnerships, are available through local universities. Healthy Grand Families is a free initiative to provide information and resources to grandparents who are raising grandchildren. Healthy Grand Families is a partnership with Harrison County Schools, Family Services of Harrison County, and United Way. Harrison County Schools, where all are leaders and all are learners.
Bergen County Schools has a long-standing tradition of providing outstanding educational opportunities for its students. Comprised of 24 schools, our district serves the needs of pre-K through 12th grade students throughout Harrison County. Providing a safe, supportive learning environment for all, we offer a well-planned, comprehensive curriculum designed to meet the needs of every student at every grade level. The elementary curriculum emphasizes core subjects augmented by music, art, health, integrated technology offerings, and physical education. Middle school students are introduced to programs, career counseling, and coursework that will help them make the transition to high school. Our high schools offer a broad and challenging curriculum to meet diversified needs and prepare our students for future careers or post-secondary education. Advanced placement honors, as well as dual credit partnerships, are available through local universities. Healthy Grand Families is a free initiative to provide information and resources to grandparents who are raising grandchildren. Healthy Grand Families is a partnership with Harrison County Schools, Family Services of Harrison County, and United Way. Harrison County Schools, where all are leaders and all are learners. From country to Christian, rock and roll to blues and soul, the Robinson Grand Performing Arts Center in the heart of downtown Clarksburg is your destination for spectacular live events and memory-making experiences. Visit therobinsongrand.com to find the next show you're coming to see. Welcome back to One Eagle Way. Start of the second half. RCB leads Central Catholic 23 to 19. A half that saw Central Catholic lead throughout up until RCB grabbed a 14 to 13 lead, lost that lead, didn't get it again until I believe they were only led by a cup by one or two. Now they're leading 23-19. I'm David Oliverio, joined by Chris. Man, Chris, what are? Let's talk about this before we start this no, we, second yeah. half. What what's what's the keys for Robert C. Bird to you know continue this? To not let Central get a 5-0, 6-0 run and then put your head down. Um, you've held their leading score to eight when she's averaging 24, and when your first possession of the game is a pull-up two to extend the lead. It gives you even that much more confidence. So Martina's starting to feel a little bit, and you're just trying you're trying to keep Caitlin Blake under control. She's averaging 26, only scored eight. And with Brooke Edge out of the game, that is a big deal for them. 
That's a very good answer for Addie Payton to come back with a three. And it looks like they're going to have a double high screen on both possessions. Unforced turnover as Burr brought the ball off the floor to get into their offense. 25-22, seven minutes to go. We got little technical difficulties that Mr. Oliveri was working on, but look, I think we figured it out. And luckily for Bird, another turnover by Central. Double high screen or individual high screens on each side. She can use as she sees fit. It looks like Karach right now is kind of being an outlet on the offensive end because they're not going to come out and pressure her as much, both as a receiver or shooter. Now, unfortunately, our shot was a little short, but that's still a good shot. She had two good looks in the first half. Both were long. That one just happened to be a little short. Three-pointer by Central, 25 balls, six and a half to go in the third. The patience is good by Bird. We, they still need to get a shot off. Here goes Martine off a down screen for a three. She's starting to feel a little bit. She had uh, eight in the second quarter alone, 12 at half. Now she has another five, so she's up to 17 for the game. She's averaging 21. The backside D of Bird has to be aware of that of all times of, of Wheeling Central flashing. What Central does a good job is once they catch at the high post, the opposite big slides really well, block the block. Good run by Carly down the floor. Good look by uh, Martina. Good finish. Bird seems has very good energy defensively, good rotation, good finish with the left. Caitlin Blake's going to be the key for the rest of the way, both as a receiver at the high post, a scorer, and a rebounder. And as long as Bird doesn't have any unforced turnovers the rest of the way, they seem to have confidence uh, on the offensive end, especially when you're making some outside jump shots. Good dribble drive by Sutherland. That's two or three or four of those today. Ah, you create one, you give up one, but that's all right. He gets it uncomfortable. Jada Sutherland comes in for Chandy Currents. 30 27, 440 left in the third. Game starting to go up and down a little bit more than what it did in the first half. Good side out of bounds play to find Caitlin. Caitlin Blake held her down. Foul on um, Carly Karatz. And Central has some, some good baseline out of bounds play. They'll sneak it on the backside. Or look for the inbounder to come in on ball side, look for a three. Aaron Maxwell for two. Both teams have scored seven in this quarter. Birds got to make sure they get into the offense relatively quickly. Martinez starting to feel it. If you're willing to center on the defensive end, you're going to have to either switch all those screens as she comes off the baseline screen, or you're just going to have to... Uh, what we call caboose it and get around right on the backside and take away every angle. They're just giving away too much space. Um, and the pass is, is a good pass, but it's a long pass. That, that ball's in the air a long time. They can get there quicker if they want to. Well, we did get the camera working. <laughs> we'll step away. RCV, nope, we won't. Yeah, he, he kept bumping the camera. 
Well, you know. He's young. He's learning. <laughs> he doesn't understand technology. He's just here to run the athletic department. That's right. That's right. And we do love him. We do love him. Yep. You see his wife is here, Hannah, along with their firstborn child, Gio. Unfortunately, a Yankees fan. But with that being said, Martina has eight this quarter, and we're already and we're only halfway through. Eagles keeping pace. They'll come out in a it's like a two-one-two two. Two press. Yeah, not something you see a lot of for the Eagles. No. Mixing it up, bang! Three-pointer. Ratcliffe. If I'm not mistaken, that's her first bucket of the game. That was a good-looking shot. It was a good press break that led right into the office. Offensive foul oh. by Carly. Yeah, just an off, just kind of a weird angle. And in those types of situations, some of that is partially the dribbler's fault as, as getting closer to the screen so there's not as much space, which is hard to do. Kendall Sturm enters the game. For Jada. Eagles back in a 2-3. That's going to be on Hunsaker. It's her third. Her third. And she's caught with her hand in the cookie jar. And it all started when you had two people guarding the right wing, which is not what, was not what Shields wants to do with the matchup. And you can hear him down there yelling matchup. And as long as Carly Karach just gets an arm in the way of the passing lane, That's right. it deters that pass to the post. Ooh. Steph Curry, three. By number 11, Addie Payton gives Central Catholic the lead. Yeah, that's two threes for her in this quarter, so that they're going to have to be aware of her. One thing you don't want is to see Central Catholic get into a rhythm offensively. Right, and that's – fortunately for Bird, they missed that, but if that goes in, I would have been interested to see if Shields would have taken a timeout just to stop that mini run. Just too strong of a layup for number 44, mm -hmm. Aaron Maxwell. Token pressure. And with Wheeling Central starting to shoot it well as a team, I don't know if Martina by herself can match them shooting it. So you're going to have to see Kyla Southern be some dribble drives. Holly find that, that space within 10 feet. Good back cut by oh. uh, Carly. Just an unfortunate pass, but it was, it was the right play. Everything going to, If that play happens again, I bet you that pass is connected. That's right. Fast moving third quarter. 2.30 left. 35-33, the Maroon Knights ahead. Number four, she just made one a little bit oh. ago. They're starting to find their rhythm. Yes, they are. And I think I missed a three earlier in the quarter, but that is either their fourth and maybe even their fifth three of this quarter. 38-33. If the Eagles don't score on this possession, you might be thinking of a timeout that needs to be taken. Eleven did a really good job of using her left hand to hold along Martina's hip right there just to deter her from getting to the lane. And there's no rush for Bird right now in this offensive possession. You're only down five. You can take your time, and if you get a good one, but it takes a minute, it's perfectly fine with the type of game you, that you're involved in. Just under two minutes remaining here in the third. Moore sees her first action of the, of the afternoon. It looks like Bird goes to a man-to-man uh, -man defense here. Backdoor play coming. Oh, there it was. Yes, it was. And ran well. Karatz is down. We'll see it right here. Not exactly sure what I was looking at. The ball, she may have stoved, hopefully just a stoved finger. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. RCBSN.
Welcome back. As Karatz banged up a little on the for on the play. As the Eagles trail 38 to 33. Eagles trying to get something done on the offensive end to break this drought. Really could use something. Doesn't have to be a three. Foul on the play. And what's interesting, for, uh, from the Wheeling Central standpoint, the Ratcliffe girl is averaging four. She's got just six in this quarter alone, two threes. So that's, yeah. a, that's good for them. Addie Payton uh, has eight in the game, and she's averaging ten. So she's starting to get closer to her average. That's how we'll make the first. And Bird's five of six from the line. They're going to have to make every one of their foul shots if they want to end up on the winning side of this game this afternoon. Bird's really got to focus on the rebounding. Good kind of handoff and roll. Kind of clear the side for her. Nice back door. And a good step up. Mm -hmm. That's an easy bucket. And a little bit of a misdirection where you had one player trying to come off a double and everybody doing a dribble handoff on the other side and playing basically a, a two-man game. And Central shot well from the line. I don't have them missing any. At, they are 7 of 7. So in this last one minute, the biggest thing, you don't want to go down less than five going into the fourth quarter since you have the ball. If it takes a whole minute for this possession, so be it. You still have the oh. 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 The ball stayed on top, though. That was a good call. And that might be Ratcliffe's fourth. That will be four on Ratcliffe. Kind of a big deal. You don't want her to be in. If, if, if they have the ball at the end of this quarter, you do not want her in the game with as well. She shot it the last two threes. Ain't that the truth? Pure shooter. Oh, Holly with an extension of that little chicken wing. That's all right, though. Good aggression. Have good patience right here. That's almost like a quarterback throwing across your body right there. Makes it a little, little difficult. Central with the ability and the opportunity to Same. either take a five yep. or add to that lead. Here's yep. a, oh, and great defense. Great hands mm -hmm. by do, Holly Hunsaker. Very good. I do, and I do like that play by Central. Throwing it to the high post, playing off of, the, of Caitlin Blake with, with a girl coming off the double going opposite. Holly's had a really good season this year of just doing a little bit of everything. She's right. been a very a great key to the success in the four and one start. Here's Blake. Karat steps in front. Eagles playing good defense here at the end of this quarter. Yes, they are. And, and the whole afternoon, Birds really got their hands on a lot of passes. Uh, if they count deflections, they'll probably be in right now in the mid teens. Good way, to end it. Good way to end the quarter. Central grabs the lead. But we will head into the fourth period. Central leads at 40 to 35. You're watching RCBSN Live.
Welcome back to One Eagle Way, start of the fourth quarter. The Maroon Knights lead the Eagles 42-35. Central Catholic well below their season average. And what's interesting that quarter is Martina had 10 of the 12 points and for Wheeling Central, and again, I, I missed a three along there. Um, they had two girls that had six, another one that had four, another had two. So we'll see if, if, that, if that allows Central to get a little bit of little bit of rhythm but right now number four uh, the Ratcliffe girl still on the bench and she's having a good game and again as we mentioned before Brooke Edge their second leading scorer and their first and the leader in assist uh, she's been out since early in the first quarter with a right ankle injury quick foul by Sutherland that's going to be her third and what could have been another foul on Sutherland and it looks like she got I think she got her second one too she hooked her with her left little chicken wing action it does look and Karatz has done a really good job with Blake of getting her hands in the way, kind of leaning on her, uh, and getting a lot of deflections without letting her offhand hook or grab. So as this game goes along, uh, Berg can have confidence that, if, that whoever they play has a big that's as skilled as Caitlin Blake. Uh, Carly has the ability to handle that. That's four on Sutherland, who needs to be very careful. Bird has continued to stay with active hands, active feet. Good pass to Holly. She needs to make that. Good rebound by Carly. So not only did Carly get in the way on one end, but she continued to move forward down the other end and get the offensive rebound. Great job by Carly Corralt on that one. Good look by Martina. An excellent run by Holly Hunsaker running to the rim. 40-35, a little over seven left. Martina's going to come back to ball side corner. Good curl. Good defense by Wheeling Central right there. You might see this game start to get a little ugly and sloppy at times because there are going to be a little desperate measures by both Bird on their end to make sure they score, and then Wheeling Central just going to try to pound it inside. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, and in, in turn, I think you're going to see a lot more fouls called. We'll see this here. It does look like she got all ball, but in her position, that will be called a foul. And it's one of those plays where, yes, you did get the ball, but you also fouled. And what I do like about the Wheeling Central team is they're very comfortable in their own roles. They understand what they're supposed to do um, and where the ball goes and how it's supposed to get there. That's There's a difficult shot right there. A little bit of a lean trying to get away from the person guarding you behind and one off to the side. Good rebound by Moore. That's good activity by her. You said it earlier. No rush right now. Mm -mm. There's a lot of game left to play. Yeah, you're looking for the best shot possible, and you're almost going to break this game down into minute by minute. Good take by Hunsaker. Bird yet to score this quarter, so you're almost two minutes in. And no matter what happens for either team, they both can go away with something positive from it. Number one, Bird knows they can play with anybody. Uh, and for Wheeling Central, they know they can play in a different style game mm -hmm. with somebody uh, really matching their, their physicality. And make no mistake, Central Catholic's one of the best teams in this state. Oh, they're doing an excellent job. Well coached, well organized. Yes. Like right there, that, that defensive rebound, it's, a, it's an automatic uh, kick out. Number 11 knew it was coming to her. Three ball on the way, no good. Oh, good seal for the rebound. Yeah. The Blake girl just has a good motor. She's moving as the ball's in the air. And we mentioned that, you know, we say you yeah, got yeah, good motor. We, they know, and we'll credit set, you know, Central Catholic at this point because they really put themselves in the right positions mm -hmm. when they don't have the basketball. Blake gets that rebound because she had previously sealed 
her defender. She knew where the ball was going to go and put herself in the most opportune place that she could get a rebound should there be a rebound. Yes, and this is a huge possession. You've got a seven-point game, and you have Moore and Sturman there, a little bit of younger, so we'll see what happens here. They have to get a bucket. They can't have very many more empty possessions. You've only got little, you know, 540 left. That's a heck of a shot by Martina. Good timeout by Coach Shields. A teardrop for Martina Howe. Gives the Eagles life. We'll be back. You're watching RCBSN. Welcome back to One Eagle Way. Central Catholic leading Bird, uh, 43 to 38. A lot of time left in this game, 542 remaining in the fourth quarter. Well, future looks good for Central. You lose your lone senior, she's out. You also lose another starter from, with some foul trouble throughout the game. Um, and they're doing a nice job. I like the little change of pace out of the timeout. Make them shoot a quick one. And that's what you get. Out really not a, Yeah, not a good possession by Willing Central right there. They took no. the easy way out. No, that's that's definitely not what their game plan usually is. They for all that they can shoot threes, but they did they're interior, they're an interior team that really gets easy buckets. And Shields might be going offense for defense here, getting Holly back in for more. Backdoor, they nice backdoor play. They kind of ran with um what Wheeling Central did. Martina Howe. Good pass by Karatz in tight space. That was not an easy pass or a catch. The higher you get on that on that back cut, the easier it is. And Martina really wasn't all that far out. Um, but still was able to catch it and then work her way back into space for the shot. We got to tell these referees to move out of the way of the camera. No, they, <laughs> they want to make sure that, that they get seen too. Unofficially, I have that as 27 for Martina tonight. Bird looking to trap. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to speed up Central a little bit. Now, if she looks up, she's got an easy bucket. She does. Kendall. Oh. And that, a big bucket. Yep, that's four for Kendall today. And a turnover. Yes. Be interested to see if uh, Wheeling Central takes a timeout here, kind of slow their roll a little bit. Offense for defense again for Shields. Ratcliffe comes back in, maybe help to settle them down a little bit. I'll tell you what, that was Kendall Sturm with the run out. Not an easy bucket. She had all the momentum. And you see oftentimes that ball goes hard off the back iron. Bird did a nice, wow, that's easy buckets. Oh. oh. But again, that screen, the girl tried to go over it, and she was way too high for it. Because Martina fades often on that three, and they're, they're actually defending it completely wrong. They need to make the adjustment. And to Bird's credit, they fought for it. Good timeout by Wheeling Central, full timeout. Both teams. Going at it here at the birdcage. We got a tie ball game, 43-43. Time out on the floor. We'll be back. RCBSF.
Welcome back to One Eagle Way. The City Construction Hoops Classic here on RCBSN. It's a high ball game here in the championship contest. Robert C. Bird, 43. Wheeling Central Catholic, 43. Just under four and a half to go here in the fourth. Good patience. You do not need to force a shot at all. You have all the momentum. And you need to start to create doubt in the opposition on this possession. Make Sutherland them, resets. Yeah, make them play defense. No, 100%. You have the momentum. Good. That was a good call. Holly was moving. Ooh. Hunsaker with a hip check and a beauty. And unfortunately, that's her fifth. She's been a huge asset to this team today. Just can't quite get set on that. And Hunsaker exits. Mid-range jumper. Great shot by Blake. And if you go watch that video, you had one, again, the one big sliding block to block, and the person that made the pass even had a little bit of a back cut. Here's Hal off. Yeah, good call. So the last two possessions by Bird, uh, Martina did get the shots away but didn't fall. Unfortunately, no offensive rebounds, and now uh, Wheeling Central comes to line for two after getting an easy bucket just a minute ago. Tough foul on Karatz. That's going to be three on her as Central will be shooting two throughout. Yeah, Mariah's had a good second half for Willing Central. Couple threes, now the foul shots. And when she was out, that's when Bird made the run. Mm -hmm. She comes back in, and now they go up four. Eagles getting desperate. Keep the ball alive. Not the best of shots, but they kept the ball alive. Now he's got to be patient. Martina posting up. Ball side block and one. Get in there. Yes, it does. Good feed. Good, pa good pass from Sutherland into the post. That was good hold off by Martina. Good strength. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. And the shooters roll. She'll roll it home again and complete the old-fashioned three-point play. She has 30 of the 46 for Bird tonight. <laughs> Extended 1-3-1. One, one. Got to get the backside protection. Let her shoot that. Backside open. Good rotation. Good look. Good. They just know where to look. Yes, they do. <laughs> timeout. Definitely a walk. That was not Got called. a timeout for Bird. Good call. Quick whistle on the timeout, but for the good of us. That's right. 30-second timeout. We'll take one with them. RCBSN. County Schools has a long-standing tradition of providing outstanding educational opportunities for its students. Comprised of 24 schools, our district serves the needs of pre-K through 12th grade students throughout Harrison County. Providing a safe, supportive learning environment for all, we offer a well-planned, comprehensive curriculum designed to meet the needs of every student at every grade level. The elementary curriculum emphasizes core subjects augmented by music, art, health, integrated technology offerings, and physical education. Middle school students are introduced to programs, career counseling, and coursework that will help them make the transition to high school. Our high schools offer a broad and challenging curriculum to meet diversified needs and prepare our students for future careers or post-secondary education. Advanced placement honors, as well as dual credit partnerships, are available through local universities. Healthy Grand Families is a free initiative to provide information and resources to grandparents who are raising grandchildren. Healthy Grand Families is a partnership with Harrison County Schools, Family Services of Harrison County, and United Way. Harrison County Schools, where all are leaders and all are learners. Welcome back to One Eagle Way. Fourth quarter here. 
Eagles. Yeah. Sorry, oh, sorry. Eagles down by one, 47-46. Yeah, Kayla Southern has done an absolute rock star of a job today at the point, controlling the pace, not turning the ball over, uh, finding that offensive foul. Oh, wow. We'll see it right here. I think that might be a good call. Now, the defender made no, did not actually care to go around Karatz, who was screening. And you still can't go through someone. Well, for whatever Carly doesn't have in her scoring column, that was her third point, I think, of tonight. She has done a rock star job rebounding, getting in the way, getting deflections, even with a little bit of an injury earlier. Eagles take a 48-47 lead. That's nah, her fifth, unfortunately. And that puts a good shooter at the line for Willing Central. Big swing and momentum. Your starting point guard fouling out in a tight ball game. And like you said during the break, Chris, no matter what, both of these teams are going to come away from today playing a good opponent, quality games, they saw some bench players that are going to get in contests. You're going to need them later on in the season. Yeah, so right now, Wheeling Central gets, gets a lot of minutes for their underclassmen all the way through. And with Holly and Sutherland both fouling out, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you got two freshmen and a sophomore out there for uh, Bird or one freshman and two sophomores. Something like that. So along with two seniors. And this is where Carly's going to – have to be a release point for each every possession. <laughs> Ow. Oh my, what a shot! What a nice turn right away for Caitlin Blake for the response. But there might want to be a point in time if I'm wheeling central that there's a player with that has a number five on the team in white <laughs> that I might want to find her more often than not. Yes, I might want to put a body on her, maybe two. Yeah, when they go back and watch the video. Uh, like that play right there. I mean, it was a good double team trying to get across half court, but um, you better find the score. Good timeout for Wheeling Central getting their, getting their stuff set. It's high ball game, 50-50. to 50. And this is a good ball game. Don't miss it. Two minutes remaining. We'll be back, RCBSN. Welcome back to the championship game of the 2023 City Hoop City Construction Classic. City Construction Hoops Classic. I'm saying too much. And we have a barn burner. 50 to 50. Central Catholic. Robert C. Bird. 50 points. 50 points. Two minutes remaining in the game. Well, to Bird's credit, they have held every player under their average for Willing Central. Um. No, that may not be fair to Brooke Edge, who you know got the injury earlier. Um, they got to get across half court. Be patient. Just catch and be strong. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, you are not trying to be Superman or Superwoman <laughs> in the last 154. <laughs> You're just trying to be the strongest, smartest player on the floor every single time. It's a, that's a hard play. Sometimes on the sidelines, depending what the angle is, it's hard to get some to, to get an easy easy look. This is where the size and, and length of Carly can come into play. That is true. We'll take a break with them. RCBSN.
Welcome back to the bird cage here on the campus of Robert C. Bird High School. 50 to 50 still as both teams are just looking for that swing and momentum. If she's not going to put pressure on Martina right here, there's no worries or, or no rush to try to score because she's not creating a five-second count. Go back, go back and get it. Good Don't drive. Foul. Yeah, nice drive. Don't foul. Good run. Oh, nice hustle play by Sutherland to get back right there. She had to sprint. She was three steps behind. Here's Moore. Big bucket by Moore. And that all started, started with the seller on the defensive transition getting in the way. Three ball she on the it. way. Blocked. Yep. What a big bucket by Moore. And a great pass by Hal. Yes. <laughs> Be patient. That somebody don't run away. Don't run away, offensive players. This is perfectly fine. You want that pressure. And for my money, if I'm Robert Seabird High School, one, you always want Martina Howe at the line. Two, I wouldn't mind getting 42 with a couple more fouls on her. I know it's late in the contest, but I wouldn't mind that at all. No, and this is unbelievable experience for all the Bird uh, underclassmen. That's Martina's first miss of the game. Oh, from the foul line, not from the field. I mean, even though she hasn't has, missed much. Yeah, even field. though she has thirty-two. <laughs> Big point. Token pressure. Teardrop's good. Still a one-point game. That's Peyton. Martin, so you can get around anytime you want. Just be patient. You got Carly's an outlet on the ball side. Trust your senior teammate if you need it. Break the five-second count. Take it in. And one. Mm. Be interested to see if she makes the second one, if Coach Shields takes a timeout to set the D. Just one timeout left for the Eagles. I think I just saw Coach did, I believe, say he may take that timeout should she make that second. Two big shots for Howe. All right, so all you're doing here is not giving up a three. You're letting them score a two for the most part. And if it goes in under five seconds to go, you're letting the ball just die. You do not have to take the ball out. There, No threes. You're just hugging the three-point line. Hand. Hand. 42. No. That could have been an and one right there. That could have been an and one. My goodness gracious. You're letting them score. Oh. My heart can't handle this. Luckily, we have a timeout on the floor. We'll be back. RCVSN.
Welcome back. We have an exciting ending to the 2023 City Construction Hoops Classic. Right now, Robert C. Bird leads 55 to 54 over the Maroon Knights of Central Catholic. 1.5 seconds remaining. All Robert C. Bird has to do is enter this basketball. Somewhere not close to Wheeling Central's basket. Somewhere not close. Anywhere not close. If anything, throw the ball in the air toward. Kratz will get it in. Oh, I'm sorry. How? That's a wow. foul? Really? Ooh, quick foul. Point one. And I got to tell you. This game has to be a, has to be a, There's no way you can't you can't actually get a ball and throw it in point one. They're gonna put point four back on. So half a second. That'll be five fouls on number four. Maria Ratcliffe. And a good player and a good shooter no longer on the court for Wheeling Central. And this game for Central may pay dividends in the long run. This may be better Absolutely. than what they think. Uh, trying to play without, I mean, depending how you want to look at it, if not their best floor general, their, their best perimeter player, um, as well as some foul trouble, there's nothing wrong with this in the end. I haven't seen. That was, he's talking about number 14, Brooke Edge. I haven't seen her. She came I out at halftime. She did. She had an ice pack on. And it might be that if mom and dad could get her in somewhere – at home quickly in Wheeling. Mm -hmm. They might be going, or they might be going to x-rays here locally. Now we do wish her well. Yes, we do. A good player. And one of those just, hopefully it's not season ending because I'd love to see her back on the court. No, you don't want that. When you've had the start they had and put the points on the board, <laughs> you don't want anything to get in the way. This is really, and I really enjoyed watching them play yesterday. The It was almost poetry. The way they passed, moved up and down the court, they, they just did it with style. And they've, you've seen flashes of it in this contest. Credit the Robert C. Bird Eagles. Their defense has just been disruptive. Yeah, and what's nice is Bird still has an excellent schedule left from Lincoln yes. to East Fairmont. Um, Very good programs. Yeah, so I don't know what the rest of Willing Central schedule is like. I, I'm sure it's good. Uh, you know, being able to go to Ohio and go across the river. Uh, but this is a great tune-up for Bird uh, with the rest of the Big Ten schedule and with a brutal section region. How will shoot one more. And this game is over. Your final score. Robert C. Bird, 55. Wheeling Central Catholic, 54. And a heck of a ball game. In a great way to end the calendar year. We'll call it right here. We're not even going to go over this. My heart is pumping out of my chest because of just how exciting this was. Chris, you got any uh, uh, plans for New Year's Eve? No. Good. Uh, we are going to go. Either. I'm going to my mom and dad's here in a little <laughs> bit to go eat some Muriels and Colossessinos in Fairmont. Love it. Um, and then we're just going to call it a, a year. I love it. Me too. I'm not doing a darn thing. Well, that's it. Bird will win it. Bird wins the 2023 City Construction Hoops Classic here on the campus of Robert C. Bird High School. For Chris Min, my name David Oliverio. Thank you, Eric Post, for manning a camera this entire game. Have a great evening.